Okay. Um, so um, all of you are aware that the uh, <clears throat> Japanese encephalitis uh, vaccine work group um, completed some of its work and continue to do additional work related to JE vaccine, uh, and that is a revision of the uh, of the current uh, statement. Um, but um, in addition, uh, there, there was a recent change by the World Health Organization in its recommendation for booster doses of yellow fever vaccine, and we were asked to add this to our, um, um, our, our agenda to review this issue and come forward with some recommendations to the uh, ACIP. So um, as you know, in the United States, uh, there is a single vaccine licensed uh, to provide protection against yellow fever. It's a live attenuated vaccine, uh, YF-Vax. Um, it's the only vaccine licensed, as I said. Um, it's recommended for those people residing in or traveling to yellow fever endemic areas. And in accordance with the international health regulations, ACIP currently recommends a booster dose for this vaccine every 10 years. Uh, the ACIP recommendations for use of the yellow fever vaccine were updated in 2009 and published in MMWR in 2010. Okay. Um, in April of, of this year, based on a, a systematic evidence review, uh, SAGE uh, concluded that a single dose of yellow fever vaccine is sufficient to confer sustained immunity and lifelong protection against yellow fever disease, and therefore recommended that uh, no longer uh, recommended booster doses um, indicating that they were no longer needed. Uh, countries can still require yellow fever vaccine booster doses under international health regulations. So uh, we were given the task to uh, review this data uh, and make recommendations to the ACIP. So our plans uh, are, are as follows. We are currently restructuring the JE vaccine work group to form the JE and yellow fever vaccines work group. Uh, our goal is to review long-term immunogenicity and vaccine failure data for yellow fever vaccine, and then develop recommendations regarding yellow fever vaccine booster doses in, in, for US travelers and for laboratory workers who have contact with this virus. We anticipate to have this work done and, and uh, bring information forward to ACIP for a vote on the booster dose in 2014. And here are the current members of the JE and yellow fever uh, vaccine uh, work group. And um, uh, I, I think this is a, or a group that has experience and can bring forward appropriate recommendations to the ACIP. Thank you. Uh, any questions for Dr. Bocchini? And uh, Dr. Camposalco. Uh, since SAGE has done a systematic review, um, I would assume that we would use that and then uh, and then just have to update it, uh, which would be Yeah, I think work. That, yeah. that's exactly right. Uh, we will certainly look at that review um, and, um, and then see if there's additional published or unpublished data to add to that, um, that review. That's correct. Uh, and then we also need to determine if there are different requirements for ACIP in terms of that review. Uh, other discussion or comment? Uh, as, as you're making your plane flight tomorrow on time, uh, put in a, a nice thought for Dr. Bocchini's willingness without any prompting to or any advance notice to come up here and, and do this. Uh, two other points. Uh, number one, he had mentioned uh, uh, the SAGE recommendation coming from World Health, and uh, Dr. Abramson, who's a former chair of ACIP, will be uh, here tomorrow giving an update on uh, some global perspectives on immunization. The other thing is, I'll just mention, uh, I believe we're finishing early enough where we can come back after lunch at about 1.15 uh, to start the afternoon session a little bit early. Uh, so with that, I think we will break for uh, lunchtime. Thank you. <laughs>